What is a cybersecurity manager? In this video, you're gonna learn about the cybersecurity manager role, and specifically, you're gonna learn about two kind of pathways of what we call cybersecurity manager, just so you can get a better understanding of where you might fit in as you get experience. Again, this is not a role for someone brand new, fresh out of college, hasn't done any type of management stuff. You might be able to transition from an existing kind of leadership role if you're a manager in some other discipline, but it, it just kind of depends on your current skill set. But we're going to talk about all that type of stuff in this video, specifically around the two different types of what we call cybersecurity manager roles, so you can get a really clear grasp on that, along with salary, responsibilities, all that good stuff. So let's just dive right in. So we typically have two sort of major umbrellas when we think of cybersecurity manager. One is the person that's going to be over the 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 broader cybersecurity strategy and programs in the organization. So that's a cybersecurity program manager. Um, they're more from a tactical business level to ensure that the cybersecurity program is matching up with the actual business outcome. So they work a lot with like CISOs and, and the more senior leadership team. Then you have what we call the cybersecurity kind of team managers, if you will. And these are the more specific uh, team team leaders. So for example, these are the, the people over top of the groups that are going to do more of the day-to-day -day operations and actual execution of that strategy. For example, like the cybersecurity analyst or cybersecurity engineering team or the intelligence team, the threat intel teams, threat hunting teams, pen testing team, whatever, they typically will have a team manager. It may be called a cybersecurity manager, but but they'll typically have what, we, what I'll call a team manager role uh, above those individual teams. And so think of program manager as kind of the person uh, at, at the, um, think of this cybersecurity program manager as a director in a movie. So they're the person kind of over everything and saying this is what we're going to do and this is how we need to do it. And then think of the cybersecurity team managers as like a, man, a manager over the actors and actresses. And also over the stunt, you know, and there's a separate one for the stunt doubles, you know, the stunt people. There's a separate one for the camera crew. There's a separate one for, you know, this and that. So each little individual portion or team that's part of that movie is going to be that is going to be under that team manager, whereas the director is over that entire movie, and we would call them that program manager. So different job titles out there, you know. Again, program manager is the umbrella term there for the one side of this, and then some of the team roles might be the SOC manager, or security operations center manager, cloud security manager, application security manager. Um, you know, just just a variety of roles in any specific team. The, that the, essentially it's just that team manager over top of them. So what about job responsibilities? Well, again, sort of the key things here, just reiterate in your head is just program managers overall is, is over that entire program. They're really focused on the business goals and, and uh, matching the program to that as well as any compliance requirements. And they work closely with the CISO and other senior leadership teams to to make sure that all the programs that are operating under that big umbrella of the cybersecurity program, that all that stuff is in compliance, all that stuff is being governed properly, all this stuff stuff is you know maintaining proper security around assets and and infrastructure and critical data and services and all that good stuff. So again, you're that director in the movie, making sure all that stuff is working like it's supposed to do. And then for cybersecurity team manager your responsibilities are more at that operational level, right? Again, that day-to-day -day kind of level. And typically, we've got two pathways within that. Um, usually, it's the, the really strong technical manager. So you, if you're this person, you kind of worked your way up from a technical team lead type of role, and you've got you know usually years of experience in a technical role. And then you've also got what, what I'll refer to as a people manager. Um, these are people that are usually going to have a little less technical skill set. They kind of have a, the the idea or general gist of what's going on, but they don't. They're not like if you need them to jump on the keyboard, they're probably not the person you want to call. And so essentially, they focus more and they're really good at the communication, the business relationships, uh, dealing with the people, dealing with different business processes, and they're actually really good at rem helping to remove roadblocks from from you know your team accomplishing things. So if you work, let's say you work as, uh, in the SOC and your SOC manager, they're not usually non-technical, but let's say they're not really a technical person, they're more that people person, then this that person may be able to remove some blockers of your team to get budget or to get you know certain projects moving forward because they know how to communicate in the language of business better. So what about salary? It, it really just kind of depends. Um, I've seen some some low rates 
in the past few years dropping around like eighty five to ninety thousand it's usually only at a smaller company in most cases in any type of cybersecurity manager role you're looking at at least six figures usually program manager might be like one twenty to one fifty and then the technical managers might vary between like one twenty to one fifty or above um, again it depends a lot on what you're doing and where you work at in the UK, 61,000 to 80,000 pounds, and then in India, around 1.5 million to 2 million Indian rupees. So common tools, um, these really vary based on what you're doing. If you're more that team manager over a technical team, then some of these are things you're probably going to be using on a daily basis, or you at least need to be familiar with at, uh, you know, for your team to use on a daily basis. So Anything in the stock, right? SIM tools, EDR, XDR solutions, any type of host scanning solutions, host security solutions, vulnerability scanners, risk assessment tools, pen testing tools are wrapped into that, IEM tools, um, security, security awareness and phishing tools, risk management tools. So just a, a variety of tools that a general security team would use. Those are things you might be, uh, you might have to do sometimes, but typically not hands-on. Usually, um, it's mostly about just being knowledgeable on those things and having experience with all of those. So that way, if your team runs into any issues, you can help make those decisions and help them troubleshoot faster. What about degrees and certs and all that good stuff? Well, no, you don't need. Um, you typically don't need any of that stuff. Some companies will require a bachelor's degree for management jobs, but it's pretty rare these days. Most companies just put that as a referred requirement, or even if it's listed as a required, they're usually flexible on that as long as you've got some experience. As far as search, you don't need them, but some that might help, like if you're a program manager, then getting like the PMP or an equivalent project management certification might be beneficial for you. If you're moving into either kind of pathway, the CISSP is always good to get for your career. The CISM, which is a Certified Information Security Manager, that's another good one. And then also the CISA, which is an auditing certification. That's also another good one to explore. Again, these are all certs that I wouldn't recommend usually just to like get them to try to get a job. I would try to get some experience in the role first, then try to get these, uh, these certifications after that. So as always, if you have questions around your cybersecurity career, post them in the comments below. Any other questions at all, post them down there as well. And let us know you like this video by liking it and also subscribing to the channel so we can let you know whenever new videos drop. And look forward to seeing you in the next video.